Hey, what's up you guys? So today I have another tutorial for you. Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Awesome song, been listening to this song forever. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, zoom in and break this one down. And for this song, you need a capo and it's on the second fret. So you're gonna need a capo for this to work. All right, so for this song, it's pretty simple. A uh, nice beginner song. Uh, the chords in this song are a C major, G major E minor and a D major all right and what they're doing most of the song you're mainly playing two chords and that's a C and a G and what they're doing is they're only plucking parts of these chords. So for this beginning with this C chord, what you're doing is taking off this pointer finger and plucking the A and the B string at the same time. So. keeping these fingers where they are and just leaving this one off and then you're gonna hammer on so you're gonna pluck and hammer on and then we're gonna transition to this G chord which is normally played like this but you're just gonna leave your ring finger third fret B string middle finger, third fret, thickest D string. And pluck the thickest D and the B together. So that transition will sound like this. All right, and then after you have that, you're gonna do this. So you're just gonna pluck the B and then the open G string. And I do this like percussive slap. Which is just slapping the strings with my, like my thumb. You don't have to do that though. So then we're gonna slide down to the seventh fret relative to the capo. Seventh fret, A string. Eighth fret, B string. And you're gonna pluck those at the same time. And then we're gonna go to the fifth fret, A string, eighth fret, B string. Okay, I'll play that for you. All right. And then you're going to add in kind of like what we did here with this G hitting that B and open G string you're going to do that down here as well all right so that sounds like this And that is pretty much most of the song. The only other time it changes is during the chorus, and that's going from a C to a G, 
to an E minor. And if you want, you can keep your pinky and ring finger held down here for this. A C is normally played like this, and a G major is like this. But if you want, you can play a C at nine, which is middle finger, third fret, A string, pointer finger, second fret, D string, and then your ring and pinky are on the third fret of the B and high E. Then you're just going to move your pointer finger and your middle finger up a string. Pointer finger, second fret, A string, middle finger, third fret, thickest D string for that G major. And then we're going to go to an E minor, keeping the pinky and ring finger planted, which is second fret with pointer and middle finger, A and D string. And then to a D major. The D major is 2nd fret G string, 3rd fret B string, 2nd fret high E string with the middle finger. And you leave this D open, mute the top two strings. And that sounds like this. That rhythm is like this. And then we're going to go from a C to an E minor, then to a D. So I'll play through that whole thing for you. And then something just a little extra, these little embellishments that you can throw onto this, you'll hear sometimes where it'll go. And all you're learning from there is how we did this. All you're doing is instead of going from this to that right away, as you're gonna keep your pointer finger and your ring finger where they are, and you're gonna take your pinky on the 10th fret, which is actually 12th fret, 10th fret relative to the capo. Pluck, pull it off and pluck, and then go to this shape, take your pinky to that eighth, 
pull off and pluck. So again, that's. And that's all you need for the entire song. Just those simple chords getting maybe those little embellishments down. You'll have it down in no time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below if there's another song you'd like me to cover. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.